Greetings and hello everyone. This is the U.S. Military Summary. On February 12th, the 7th Fleet of the U.S. Navy stationed in Japan announced that the aircraft carrier group USS Nimitz and the Marine Corps Expeditionary Unit 13 conducted a drill in the South China Sea. The military exercise was planned in advance. The move comes amid already tense relations between Washington and Beijing, which have become even more serious due to the verbal sparring that followed the U.S. downing of a Chinese drone over U.S. airspace a week ago. The highlight of this exercise is undoubtedly the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier, with the displacement of over 100,000 tons and carrying 90 types of aircraft the Nimitz-class vessel is a supercarrier without a rival in the world today. Today we will explore the full strength of the USS Nimitz, one of the largest and most modern aircraft carriers in the US Navy, valued at $4.5 billion. The Nimitz-class aircraft carrier is a class of 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers currently in service with the United States Navy. The lead ship of the class is named after the United States Pacific Fleet Commander during World War II, Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, the last living five-star admiral in the U.S. Navy. All 10 aircraft carriers were constructed by Newport News Shipbuilding in Virginia. The first ship of the class, Nimitz, was commissioned on May 3, 1975, and the tenth and final ship, George H. W. Bush, was commissioned on January 10, 2009. Since the 1970s, Nimitz-class aircraft carriers have participated in numerous battles and campaigns worldwide, including Operation Eagle Claw in Iran, the Gulf War, and most recently in Iraq and Afghanistan. Main Parts With approximately 1 billion individual components, the Nimitz supercarrier is one of the most complex machines in the world. However, these components can be divided into four main operational purposes, transporting fighter aircraft, enabling aircraft takeoffs and landings, serving as a mobile command center during military operations, and serving as a living and working space for the entire crew and aircrew for extended periods of time. To fulfill these functions, an aircraft carrier is a combination of a giant warship, an airport, a military base, and a small city. It includes the following main components. The flight deck is a large, flat surface on top of the ship that includes an airfield and serves as a center for takeoffs and landings and command operations. The aircraft hangar, an area below the flight deck, houses unused aircraft. The command center is the highest part of the ship, where all ship and combat operations are coordinated. Living and working areas for the crew, a small power plant and engines to keep the ship operational at sea for extended periods of time. Other systems similar to those found in a city, such as water and food supply, communication, etc. The hull, the main part of the ship, is made of large steel plates over 10 centimeters thick. This strong and sturdy design is highly effective in reducing damage in combat. The hull is divided into three main parts, the uppermost flight deck, the hangar in the middle, and the submerged frame below water. The underwater hull is rounded and relatively narrow, while the upper parts are expanded to provide space for human and aircraft activities. The underwater hull has a double-layered structure separated by a distance. In the event of a collision or torpedo attack, the outer shell is destroyed, while the inner shell prevents water from flooding in. Specifications the Nimitz supercarrier is one of humanity's most amazing inventions, and the statistics surrounding it make it one of the wonders of the modern world. With a height of up to 74 meters and a weight of up to 97,000 tons, this supercarrier is extremely impressive. Its steel structure weighs up to 60,000 tons, demonstrating its strength and sturdiness. Its usable area is also very large, up to 18,000 meters squared, and its length is up to 333 meters. The ship's runway is up to 78 meters wide and has over 40,000 compartments and spaces for aircraft. Each propeller on the ship weighs up to 30 tons, and each rudder weighs up to 41 tons. The ship is also capable of storing up to 12.5 million liters of fuel to power the aircraft. The ship's food storage capacity is also impressive, 
enough to feed 6,000 people for 70 days. The total length of the electrical cables on the ship is over 1,600 kilometers, demonstrating that this ship is extremely complex and equipped with the most advanced technologies. All of these statistics show the strength and scale of the Nimitz supercarrier. In terms of propulsion, all ships in this class are equipped with two A4W nuclear reactors, arranged in separate compartments. They provide power to four propellers and can reach a maximum speed of 30 knots, about 56 kilometers per hour, and a maximum power of 260,000 bhp, 190 mw. The reactors generate heat through nuclear reactions that heat up water. This water is blown through four turbines, produced by General Electric, shared by both reactors. The turbines provide thrust to four bronze propellers, each with a diameter of 25 feet, 7.6 meters, and weighing 66,000 pounds, 30 tons. Behind the propellers are two ship rudders, 29 feet, 8.8 .8 meters high, and 22 feet, 6.7 meters long each weighing 110,000 pounds, 50 tons. Nimitz-class ships built since Reagan also have bulbous bow to improve speed and fuel efficiency by reducing hydrodynamic drag. Thanks to their use of nuclear power, these ships are capable of continuous operation for 20 years without refueling and are expected to serve for 50 years. Weapon Systems the primary mission of an aircraft carrier is to transport fighter planes across the ocean to a combat zone, so the primary firepower of an aircraft carrier lies in its fighter planes. A supercarrier, like the USS Nimitz, can carry up to 80 to 100 fighter planes of various types, including critical combat aircraft like the F-A-18 Hornet, F-14 Tomcat, E-2C Hawkeye, S-3B Viking, EA-6B Prowler, and SH-60 Seahawk. In addition to its fighter planes, an aircraft carrier also has its own defensive system, which can take down any enemy aircraft or warship that poses a threat to the fleet. This includes four RAM-7 Sea Sparrow surface-to-air missile batteries, each with four missiles with a range of approximately 55 kilometers per hour, a speed of 4,256 kilometers per hour and a warhead weight of 40.5 kilograms. There are also four MK-15 Phalanx close-in weapon systems with two guns each, capable of firing at a rate of 3,500 to 4,500 rounds per minute, and with an ammunition capacity of 1,000 to 1,550 rounds. Additionally, to counter enemy torpedoes, each aircraft carrier is equipped with the SLQ-25A Nixie torpedo decoy system. Typically, during a campaign, an aircraft carrier does not operate alone, but is accompanied by a fleet to provide mutual support. An aircraft carrier strike group typically includes one aircraft carrier, two guided missile cruisers armed with Tomahawk missiles, one guided missile destroyer tasked with air defense using surface-to-air missiles and gunnery, two Los Angeles-class submarines, and one logistics support ship. Maintaining and servicing just one Nimitz-class aircraft carrier costs approximately $750 million to $900 million per year, which is roughly a quarter of the cost to build a new Nimitz-class carrier. A staggering mount indeed. In summary, the USS Nimitz supercarrier is one of the technological wonders of the world, with exquisite design and diverse functionality. This aircraft carrier is not only home to thousands of sailors and crew members, but also serves as a mobile military base and command center for strategic military operations of the United States, helping to maintain America's deterrent power on hotspots around the world, and most importantly, asserting the face of the world's number one superpower. Thanks for watching.